All right, so this happened the other day. The uh, fuel water light came on and uh, didn't really know what it meant. It's not in the owner's manual. So I had to check it out online. So um, I'm gonna put all the different blogs into a video format and my uh, interpretation of it. And hopefully this works and makes the light go off. Well, from what everybody says, uh, it just takes a few parts. Hopefully you got them at your house. Uh, I didn't have the 36 millimeter socket, so I went to Sears and got that. That's gonna take off the actual fuel filter on your rail, on your frame. And uh, got a half inch socket, some extensions, uh, six millimeter Allen key, some carb cleaner for cleaning out the inside of that fuel water separator, and then uh, the actual filter. I bought, I bought uh, Motorcraft just because like to stick with the Ford parts in case anything goes wrong I know that they'll be readily available so I'm gonna crawl underneath here and uh, first of all drain that water out <clears throat> and see what the if there's water or not hopefully there is and then I'll take care of the problem by itself this is all I'm using right now to fix this that light that's come on on the dash all right I'm under the truck now and uh, looking at that fuel water separator and there's a plug right here that you need to get to and it's supposed to come right out and when you do that turn it ever so slightly to loosen mine came without any problem so they said it's just supposed to start dripping fuel and let it drain out completely so I'm going to get the bucket underneath here and uh, Make sure I don't get a lot of diesel fuel on me. So hang on one second. And then we'll go. That's come out pretty easy. That's definitely a good thing. to get in your eyeball if you can help it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. You guys don't have to sit here and listen to it drain. All the uh, that was easier. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna show you guys this. Uh, I'm gonna scoot out from underneath here, and this plug is eight up. Uh, Hang on, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see that, but that plug, those threads, there's about one thread holding that whole plug in there. So maybe the reason why I'm getting that light on the dash is because all this corrosion has clogged up the sensor. So I'm going to have to call uh, Ford up and see how much the replacement part is. Awesome. All right, well, can't go much further until I get this replacement part. So I'll be back. Okay, straight from the Ford, Ford dealership. Uh, this is the part number that they gave me to uh, replace that plug. I'm going to open it up and uh, we'll see if it matches. Well, the new one's right here. The old one's right there. The new one, thankfully. Got all the threads in it. The other one, that corroded somehow, is eaten away. So we're going to replace it. Alright, we're under the truck again. 
We've got the 36 millimeter socket on the uh, filter cap and it feels like it could be a 35. Some of the forms said 36, some of the forms said 35, but uh, I got it started either way, so um, I'm going to try to take this off and see it's turning. Slowly, but I'll, uh, I won't bore you guys, I'll just uh, get out of here and come back when it's off. But that's what you got to do half inch with the 36 millimeter and check it, maybe a 35 for you. Well, I don't know much about filters, but I think this one did the job. There's a lot of grime and stuff in there, it's probably from that bolt that eroded off. Uh, compacted in places so especially down in there on the bottom part of it anyway I clean this up just with a towel or whatever and here's the new filter nice and brand new I'm going to uh, lube up the gaskets this comes with it also that goes around here and then uh, I'll lube up the bottom gasket pop it back in, tighten it down, and uh, then we got to clean out that little uh, plug area with that carb cleaner. Then uh, we'll see how it goes. Here, I guess I could show you guys this. Just went up in here and it sets back in. I don't know if it twists further or what, but Seems like that's it. Doesn't go any further. So I'll put the cap on and see if it tightens down correctly. This started all right, so I hope that means it's going to work. I didn't have a long enough extension, so I got to do a lot of this by hand. If you guys have a 10 inch extension or so, it would really help you out. Just hope I'm not messing up the oil or o ring. Because there's not much bite in between this right here and then up there. So my half inch ratchet's going to get bound up. Doesn't really want to fit right. Okay, well it fit down snug. That's the big fuel filter. I still gotta do something here and clean all that crap out of there because it's it's pretty dirty. And it's supposed to be diesel fuel, but it's not supposed to be brown. Stuff like that. You see the sediment from that uh, plug that eroded. So I want to get in there with some kind of cleaner and do that carb cleaner and spray it in there and see if that works a little bit. So uh, hang on. So as you can see, I have modified this tip a little bit, according to uh, a guy on another blog. I've just uh, slightly heated it up and bent it over. I had to cut it the first time because I heated it up too much and collapsed the whole tube. So uh, I said do a right angle and you can get up in that plug area and clean it all out. So we're going to try it. So we're going to try this, see if it works. Stick it up in there and... Ugh. Try not to get it in our face again. And, uh, yeah. Keep in mind it'll run down your arm and sting if you get some scrapes on your sting on your arm there. It feels real good. Shoot. <coughs> and on your face. Maybe it just stings everywhere and you're not supposed to get it on your body. That's probably it. But as you can see on my arm, there's a lot of that stuff from that plug that just eroded. So, uh, yeah, we're going to clean that out. I'm going to use two hands now instead of one. I'm trying to get up in there. But, uh, 
Yeah, two hands. See you in a bit. Okay, for your information, after you're done cleaning out that plug hole, uh, try to wear something with long sleeves or try not to get it on you as much as possible because it burns. I'll show you my arm. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's red all the way down. Not on that side, but on that side where it was dripping all the way up my arm. So when it says uh, causes eye and skin irritation, it, it really irritates you. Just letting you know. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last bit of the uh, fuel water separator check valve or check engine light fuel water uh, separator thing on a 04 Ford F250 diesel 6.0 liter. I want to put this back in, start her up, see how it goes. Alright, as you can see, uh, I've got the new plug in there. Um, all the forms and the guys and even the, the one YouTube video, the other guy said uh, finger tight only. So, uh, I'm not going to wrench on this thing anymore. I've got it to uh, and they're pretty good. Uh, luckily the, the uh, plug fit that I had to go get from the Ford dealership and uh, yeah now we're gonna just cross our fingers and hope everything works and uh, oh when you're cleaning this out the plug right there when you put the plug back in there is going to be some uh, residue of that cleaner that can drop out on your eyeball that stings just letting you know <laughs> So another thing you guys got to do, or ladies, is uh, you got to let it cycle the vehicle. Let it cycle for uh, three times, they said, to get that fuel going back into the filter and then the fuel water separator valve. So uh, just turn it on, turn it off a couple times. I want to do it three times, and then uh, we'll see. And I'll spare you guys all the, the bells and whistles. Well, as you can see, there's no more light. I've been running this thing for about five minutes straight, and uh, before the light would come on, way before then. So, uh, I guess we fixed it. Time will tell. Thanks for watching. Take care.